dead. dead. That you you win. You win yeah. no saves on that. Yeah. Dead. Me ski dead. And what are we saying? How's that break down? You remember? Knee. It's water. Ski day. Sweet. Yep. That's how they looked at that. Ace, do you want to try this one? Ma Shon. Ma Shon. Ma Shon. Used a lot of those in that meeting, right? Yeah. Oh, what was this one? It's the same as It's the same as that guy. Dog. Dick. Was buffalo, dog, deer, or meat? Oh, lesson one. If you need Mastinke. Mastinke. You guys know this one? Take a stab at it. Okay. That little, that little guy. That little guy. What about, what about this one? Because two of you get two. Shonke, shonke. All right, back around the horn here. Take that drink of water. Kida, kida, kida. Hi. Oh, what about that guy? Wet, ah, wet, ah, wet, ah. Ace! What about this one? Keen one. It's a good one. Good one to good one to have, good one to know. Maze Scots. And what are we saying there? White iron. White iron, white metal. That's right. Could be silver. Oh! Gdebra. Gdebra. Nailed it. Nailed it. Jawe, Jawe, good. And back to the start, right? So remember that was those were like our first ones we started out with, minus the e, because we're working on that to give that word, right? So going back to that. <clears throat> So, that's what we worked on on lesson one. Now, like I was saying, we're just going to expand on some of those things. We're not trying to go crazy, but we're just going to expand on those. So look at number one. So what, what, what did we talk about there? Anna, no, Emma had those, right? These two guys, mm -hmm. right? So that number one, that's what we're talking about. How do we say that? Da. Da. That's that deer, meat, same thing. Deer, meat. Now, going down, if you look at the next one down there, like I said, we're expanding on that first lesson one. Da, ha. Da, ha. What are we talking about there? Deer skin, deer hide, right? What is ha by itself? Skin, bark, hide, shell. So you can see it's any kind of a, of a covering of some sort. So when we talk about da ha, we're talking about that buck skin, deer skin, all right? Da ha. Now, let's go around the room, talk about some buck skin, right? How are we gonna say that? Dog. 
to say moccasins. I guess you could look back at like, back in the olden days, all we had was home back, right? Home back. That was it. But then as we start getting around all these other types of shoes we had, and all of our Deggy Hall relations say, well, we all had to start differentiating between, you know, boots and regular shoes or just shoes. So this is one that, that you'll see for moccasins, and it, so it specifically states out Da Ha Hong Bay. So what, what are we saying there? <coughs> deer hide shoes, deer skin shoes. It's just kind of separate them. And, and a, lot of, a lot of our Deggy Ha tribes have done the same thing, had to differentiate. I think uh, our Omaha relations say, they put that khati on the end of it. I mean, in real, you know, the real, the real shoes, real moccasins. Mm -hmm. And even like boots, they've had to, you know, but we just kind of had to differentiate. So home pay by itself is just a shoe, moccasin, but da-ha home pay, we're talking about deer hide shoes, right? All right, let's go around, let's try to say that. Da-ha home pay. Da ha hum pe. Da ha hum pe. So that's what are we saying there? Deer hides, deer hide shoes. Okay. So you see how we're just expanding on that deer and or meat. Next one down. Once again, we did not have any work. We didn't have days of the week. They're just kind of when, when, uh, who are they, who came to us? Missionaries, they kind of had to get this concept of days of the week. So, now you see why Friday, we're saying da, 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 je. Da 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 ji. So we're saying meat to eat, not. So, what, so we're saying a day that you don't eat meat. You guys see that? Da 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 ji. Day you don't eat meat. And Catholics. You see why that, I mean, you, you see why that's, that's how that got named that. So Friday is da, 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 ji. Meat, to eat, not negative, we're, we're negated. And just da, da, ji by itself would be to fast or not eat. <laughs> Evening, sir. Get you some grub over there. What do you say? Plenty of food too. Any questions on that? On, are you guys seeing that on Friday? How we get Friday? How we get to that? Deer eat, and then it's negating it. That gene all just always negates things. So it's da 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 gene. Friday. So see it again, we kind of expanded on that. You got what do you got? Why would they were they fasting on Fridays? Why where did they get this? Why did that's they, a ca Catholics Catholic. Catholics don't eat. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. So that's so like I said, this concept of days of the week, we didn't have that. It was just you know but when these guys, when missionaries came, especially I mean, these Catholic missionaries, that's where they try to teach this concept of a seven day week. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come up with our days of the week. <laughs> you know, 
so so that so their Friday is that day you know what I mean. And in Osage, it's the same thing. They use the same thing. I don't know about Omaha's and Ponca's. I think Cobb is too. I think because it's just those Catholic missionaries and they all just talk that boy on Friday. I don't make that mean. So let's give it a shot. Let's go around here. We're, once again, we're, we're expanding on that, that deer meat, that thaw by itself. So in this instance, it's thaw. You say it slow if you need to. Thaw, 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 jean. And we just negate it, yeah. Thaw, 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 jean. That sh it's like it's it's hard to say. It's why it, a lot of these we have these. Yeah. It's like a treasure G, and that's the. Uh, but that G it usually just negates what came before it. So to eat and then not eat, and and just throw that in there. Too fast to not eat at all. Dot dot G. Okay, moving on. Adding some more to that. Soup. Beef soup in particular. You guys see what's going on there? We, it, it's kind of crude. I mean, it's, it's very explanatory, very explicit. So we got da. We're talking about our meat, right? Deer meat. Da. And then ni is what? Water. Oh, home. Oh, home is to cook or boil things. You know, you can imagine just that open fire, they're cooking on it, oh home. So da ni o home is saying it like super slow. That's talking about that soup. Da ni ni in the water. So basically it's like meat water and it's boiling, cooking meat water, right? And when you say it fast, sometimes you hear people, they'll just say like, da nyo hong. Well, they're just jamming the end of ni into the front of o hong, and it turns into this kind of just a little contraction. So it's just it's just saying it like really fast. <coughs> da nyo hong, da nyo hong. But if you say it slow, da ni o hong. You say it fast and ram that together, da nyo hong. So there's our meat, there's water, there's the boil to cook, and we're just talking about beef soup, beef, beef stew, beef soup. And Osage, if you mean, it's just, they don't throw that old home on it. I guess it's just understood. In Osage, it's just da ni. Soup is just da ni. But then they call it the cooks or the home. So let's go around there and just try that first, try that slow one. I just threw that other one in there so you can just kind of see when you say it fast. So on those tapes, those audios you'll find, some of those ladies will say it that, that fast. Da ni o hong. Talking about that soup. Da ni o Now, another one down, all they did, it's like the same thing, but on the end there's a little tail, and it's a day. And you'll see that from time to time, but that just means it's like to cause it to happen. So while you're cooking? Yeah, well, it's just, it's like making this, making this happen, to cause, to cause this food, to cause this meat in this water to be cooked. And it's not, it, it's just another way and it's actually in like some of those works that we you know, we're getting our information from, and they'll have that day on the end. But <clears throat> it, it's just a little more explanatory. It doesn't even really need to be there. It just kind of says so. You're causing all this to happen too, to make this happen. 
but basically Donnie Olhom is our is our beef soup. Dylan? Yes, sir. Okay, so the D A or D E stands sounds like a D A. 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 E will always be an A. A will always be an A. E will be like an okay. as an egg. A is a short A. Then. It's just yes. It's okay. just it's A. A is always A. E is always A. Now, like I said, this we've had this. They say, you know, back. We didn't really have an A sound, but we've kind of inflected that with our English accents that we've added, like, you know, A things that we like to A around. So, everybody understand though so far? What, what, what I'm trying to show you is just like I said, we're building on that, that deer meat Expand that out a bit. This next one, what are we talking about? Roach, right? Headdress, roach. Da, cinte, cinte. And cinte is just tail. So now we're saying deer, tail, and then ah, garam, ah, garam, ah, garam is to put upon, to place upon. Da si de agana. So that's how we that's what we're calling our our roach, our headdress. that by itself is just tail, any kind of tail. And that's pretty much across the board in our daily our relations. I, I mean, just Osage will say Sinse, Omaha Ponca Sinde, and we'd say Sinde. So that's tail, tail. Da Sinde Agana, to put upon, to put on your head, basically. So that's what we're calling our roach. So let's go around, shoot, let's try that one. Da si te agana. Questions on that? Cinte by itself is tail. Agada is just to put something on top. Put something on top. Uh, and finally, just rounding this out to say fresh meat. It's kind of crude too. What are we saying there? Wet meat. Just wet meat. Don't go. That's a. Uh, but I get you know. There's that meat just laying there, and you know how it just. Cool, moist, wet, like that. So da do ka, fresh meat. Da do ka. <coughs> Any questions on that? Da do ka, do ka, wet, moist. It's kind of like and other. Uh, it also is moist. We have some other types of wet too. So let's go around and try that. One. Fresh meat. Da do. Expands our knowledge on deer or meat with those little things there. Any questions? All right. All right. 
Next one. Dead. Dead. We're talking about that buffalo, right? Dead. Now, just like we did on the top, dead hawk is what? Buffalo hide. Buffalo hide. That's right. Buffalo hide. Dead hawk. And just like above, dead head. Dead head. What's that head? Horns or antlers, you know, in, in uh, no no separation. In English, we separate horns from antlers due to how they grow and shed and all that, but we just said head. So, and I think I missed that one, didn't I, when we did deer antlers? Yeah, but deer antlers stop head, deer antlers, deer horns. Now we're back, go with, but back down here to buffalo, so it's the same. Deer hide, buffalo hide, deer horns, buffalo horns, it's that same, so hawk and head. And that's where sometimes I'm usually saying, God, you know, I'm not the language police and we'll get close enough, but you can really change what you're saying. You get I me mean, if you say de ha, what am I saying? De ha. Oh, buffalo yeah, high, but if I said de he, buff, buffalo horns, yeah. So, you know, you can you can kind of you can confuse people if you don't. Some of our words are so close, you, you got to get it. You got to get it closer. We'll be going down different roads. So we'll go around. We'll say we'll work on that buffalo horns. De he. De he. De he. Good see and if it's da da ha de he. See, I mean it's all it's all real close. That's why you've got them. Some of these, like I said, we just blow past it. It's like ah, it's close enough. But some of it, it's like man, you can take you can take a different direction. All right, going down to the next one. Deska. So what are we talking about there? White cow. Mm -hmm. White buffalo, but in Quapaw, Deska and Osage too, as a matter of fact. It just it was just kind of like differentiate the two. Deska versus De. But Deska was that cow, domestic cow, cattle. So we're just talking about, I'm not talking about buffaloes anymore, but Deska is that cow. So we're on Deska. 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 That second was on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was. You nailed it. Okay. I don't miss me. I did. Deska. 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 This skull, we're just talking about that cow. Now, going a little further, we've got De Doka. De Doka. Buffalo bull, male bull, right? De Doka. Now, I did make this note down here. Sometimes, in Quapa only, not our Omaha relation, our Osage relation, sometimes you'll see Quapa's just through Nika. They would, say, they would say De Nika instead of De Doka. De Doka is, is male, you know, the male gender. But in a lot of our names, we have De Doka. Matter of fact, about every, every name uses this type because it's old. You know, we're going back, those names are old. But somewhere along the lines, Quapa, we kind of, it, it just didn't seem to matter to us because you'll see some references with Nika which is just a man. You know, that's just how you'd say a man. But they'll throw that on with an animal. And in every other one of our, our uh, Deggy Hawk relation, a man's a man and, you know, animals aren't. So, but we did. We have that in a lot of, a lot of references. But, but for first, we'll say De Doka. De Doka. De Doka. Oh, you got it. You're so good. 
there, go go. With all those chips in your mouth. Dead go go. Dead go go. De Doka. So we're talking about that uh, buffalo bull. Now, like, and once again, if, you, if someone was to say De Nika, that's, I mean, it's in a lot of, like I said, a lot of that older stuff we have, it's in there too. So we just didn't care. I mean, it was, we took it either way. Buffalo calf, young calf, young buffalo, de jica. De jica. Let's try not to say. De jica. De jica. De jica. De jica. De jica. It's got that zh, like treasure zika. Dejika. So that's that buffalo calf, young calf. That's also one of our names too. All right. Any questions on those? All right. See how we're just expanding those. We're getting a little more knowledgeable, adding some descriptive words, adjectives to things. Now, going back to ke, right? Ke. And what happens when we throw ha onto ke? We get a shell now. Instead of a buffalo hide or a deer hide, now we've got a turtle shell. So ke ha. That's how we're getting that turtle shell. All right. So going around again. Get hot. 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 Uh, so turtle shell. See, we had hide, turtle hide, tur or tur I mean, tur <laughs> turtle hide, <laughs> turtle skin. But geha is that turtle shell. Now, this is from. Uh, this isn't in any of that old stuff. It's not anything. This was just a tape when they uh, asked Maud Supernaw how to say shell shaker, stomp dance shells, and she said geha anahata. Now, I've looked at it, tried to break it down, and, and man, it's, of course, we can figure out the geha part, right? That's pretty, that's pretty simple. Like, na is like a, by action of the foot, it's an adjective, it's a descriptor. A lot of your na will be like something's going on with the foot. And it could be, you guys know what onomatopoeias are? I had, I had to, like, yeah, boom. Zap. Boom. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> Bang. That's onomatopoeia. It's like the word describes the sound. It could be, chata could be that sound of those turtle shells. I don't know. That's just one. I wish somebody would have said, asked her a little further. Now, what? Can you break that down a little further? But that's, that's she just says, Geha, I'm not chata. But that's those turtle shells. And then she said, uh, I didn't put this on her, but then, then they said, she said, Shami, Shami Anakata, like girl, you know, girl, girl shell shakers. And, uh, but like I said, they did. And it's not in any of our other works. And I was talking, just a little side note, I was talking to like one of those linguists, and I was like, what do you think that's what's going on there? And then I had to try and get in to describe what in the world shell shakers were, and then I just, I just, I was, I was, I was scanning my phone, I was trying to email something, and I said, oh, there. But, you know, so that might be one of those, we just, I mean, that's it, that's that's how we say those those shell shakers. Old timing, when what we, 
wonder what we'd have to say now with those cans. Yeah. Maze, maze, anachata, something like that, yeah. probably. Because there's that keha, you just drop that and throw those, those cans on. But we're talking old timing. So keha, keha, anachata, anachata. Are you ready? Go. We'll come back. We'll come back. Get ha. Get ha. Anahata. Get ha. Anahata. Get ha. Anahata. Be ready. Get ha. Anahata. Remember that X, that Hana. There you go. Emma, you ready? Take a drink. <laughs> Take a drink. Get ready. There you go. Keha anahata. Keha anahata. It's tough. That's the toughest. That's the toughest sound we've got. I think that's the toughest sound. You just gotta say it. So ge ge ha. Anahata. Geha, geha, anahata. So there's your turtle shells. There's your shell shakers. Right? And just to throw a little, just expand, big turtle. Gehtunka. Big turtle. Gehtunka. Big turtle. Gehtunka. That's all right. Let's go around with that one. Okay. Okay. Are you keep it? It's your turn. Keep it. Alright, we're going to come back for real this time. Okay. 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 And remember, guys, we're trying, I, I know, we're trying not to say. A, K. We're trying to say eh. We all do it. But we do it. I just, I mean, and I do it. And we like, like we talk about gay, you know, we, we don't, we, we A things and it should be an eh, but that's just what our Northeastern Oklahoma, and I try myself to not A instead of eh. But just shoot for it, shoot for it. All right, next one, We're talking about that beaver, right? Jawe. Not Jawe, not Jawe, Jawe. We tried to hit that way. Now, this was out of a story. This, uh, uh, you know, like I said, we have a lot of quapaw stories that James Will and Dorsey gathered from Buffalo Calf, Mary Stafford, the uh, Bowyers. This is just one, this is just a little excerpt out of one of his stories talking about these beavers. But in that story, he says, Jawe Doka Nompa. And it kind of goes back to what we were working on. You know, we were putting words and things together to, you know, we do have grammar, we do have rules. But this is how we would say two male beavers. But you see the word order there? It's like that, that, that beaver, the description of that beaver would be the males, and then there's two of them. That number always follows at the end. So, talking about two male beavers, Jawe Doka Nomba. And two kind of gets, as you can see down there, two we talked about when we went over numbers. It's got some variants. Some people put a real pa, some people pa. But peas and beeves are real close together. Pa, 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 pa. So, go around when we talk about two male beavers. Jawe doka nompa. Jawe doka nompa. Jawe doka nompa. Are you ready now? No food? All right. Jawe doka nompa. Oh. 
talk about there two male weavers right uh, next one it's a name one of our names and it was uh, John Beaver's name one of his first names that's what the little notation says on uh, JOD's material but Jawez Jika little young beaver little beaver Jawez Jika Yeah, that's that young beaver, little beaver. That's that's one of our names. All right, going back to the dog. What are we saying on that horse? What what did we we call our horse? Shunke agony, shunke agony, and that breaks down. Dog, ah is on or upon, and gani is to sit. So it's that. That dog that you sit on. And that's what always said she got a bit kind of I guess just read Well, it. yeah, you just some people even in English, you know how we do. Did you go? Did you yeah. go? No, you know, you but you know, when you get really comfortable and you start just slamming it together, it'll just float. But starting out, you know, we you, it's good to know Sean Gay Ah Gani. And then as we go along and get better, you just kind of start floating over that stuff and then it turns into the same thing. Yeah, you just, you just get kind of when you get smooth. So, expanding on dog, and we, we have our word for horse, which is different. It's one unique thing with our Deggy Hop people. We all have a different word for horse. So, you know, when we were together, we split up. That's obviously that horse came in after that, so then we you know, we all start to come up with a different word for a horse. Uh, oh, say to say, Kawa, cause. Uh, we, I think I've got it on some other stuff. Now, but we all. I just think that's neat because that shows that at some point, you know, that came after we had all split up and we all came up with a different word. So. Expanding on dog, talking about horse, shonke a gani. Shonke a gani. Your turn. Big's not in there, but I think that's understood. If you're sitting on a dog, it's got to be a pretty good sized dog. Yeah. Uh, now, talking about wolf, I don't, it, it, this is kind of goes a little across the board, our day, my folks. Uh, that gay kind of drops away, and they'll just say, Sean, Dunka. And then in this case, just add a little extra to kind of. Help us saw. And what did we learn about saw? Black. It was black. Dark. Right. Shaw is the dark. <laughs> There's a darkness. Saw is black. Shaw is dark. So we'll say, talk about this black wolf, Shon Thunka, saw. Shon Thunka, saw. 
Show don't go. So. Show don't go. So. Show. Don't go. Don't go. So. All right. Shaw's dark, Saw's black. Um, and in these guys, I just I, a lot of as we as we had a hard time, younger people. This is where you hear that shrunk sometimes. There's a, like I'm trying to throw an R in there, but it's it's not there. I mean, they what they're hearing uh, is just that shun, shun, and they're trying to put an R shrunk up. Sometimes you hear some. But it's it's shown. I mean, that's, it goes back to all of our history, and it kind of but it says shown, shown, no R in there. Shon Jika, Shon Jika, talk about that puppy. Shon Jika, little bit puppy. Shon Jika. Shon Jika. Shon Jika. Questions on any of those? So you guys, we're getting, we're getting some good stuff. We're expanding on these. We can kind of start adding, adding these little things to it and start talking about that. If I said uh, da ha, what am I saying? Da. Da. Dear high, right. De ha. Buffalo. De he. De he. So we were talking about buffalo horn. Da he. Deer antlers. Yeah. And see, that's why it's it's sometimes like we were talking about last class. I said, that's ah, close enough. We just because. But on some of that, it's like you can kind of get get this way or that way. All right. Uh, feather. Ma shon. Ma shon. Ma shon. This is going back to what I said about dog. That shrun. Sometimes you hear a shrun, but it's that shon. 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 Chida Marchon. What am I talking about? Eagle feather. Chida Marchon. And in that instance, it's it's pretty much. I've looked some. I think. I think you had asked me about that. If that was the right order, somebody did. And man, across the Yeehaw, that's about how we we all do it. Chida Marchon. That bird comes first, and then the feather. Because I guess it's just describing. Something off of that eagle, as opposed to it always machon. It yeah. always seems like everything's turned backwards. Yeah, and the English is really turned backwards. And, and this one is talk. And yeah, that yeah. one. And I think you'd ask me that, and yeah. I was like, man, it's just mm. that's one of the few that mm. I don't know. That's just how they looked at it. Chida machon. And I, even in our Negihar relation, that's that's how they they have. It's not machon chida. It's chida machon. So talking about that eagle feather, going around, Chida Marchon. Chida Marchon. This is tough to remember. Chida Marchon. Chida Marchon. You got to get that. And granted, like Virginia was saying, I mean, you say it hard now to get it like embedded, and then when you're talking, it just be a chida, chida. I mean, you just kind of bounce it, you just like skip that rock. But 
if you try it hard now, then you can just lighten it up and kind of get in, in the groove. So, he, he, no. <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's I said it's our toughest. Well, it's our toughest. <laughs> and we're laughing with you. <laughs> yeah, we're laughing with you. 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 Hey, just 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 try to take a little drink. Just take a little drink of that. I'm serious. I'm serious. Just take a little drink. Okay, your mouth's wet. Now, now just drink it down. Now say it. See, you had it. You, you, you got to have a little. It's like you almost have to have a. To try and do that with a dry mouth is kind of hard. All right. Going to the next one. This is one of our names. Marchon Gita, Marchon Gita, Marchon Gita. That's just like it translates as rising feather. Feather gets up, feather rises. Gita is to rise or get up. So Marchon Gita, Marchon Gita, Marchon Gita, Marchon Gita. Marchon Gita. Marchon Gita. Marchon Gita. Marchon Gita. There you go. All right. Next one. Marchon. Yeah, you're sitting across from me, so like when I look up, you're always. Marshall Scott E. Marshall Scott E. In names, it's the only time this E turns out this way, but that's female. Because female is me, or sometimes me, but in names, it sometimes just kind of turns into E. I don't know if it's just because they're so old, they just kind of got short that much. Because like, like we've talked about before, a lot of our names in Quapaw are over in Omaha, they're over in Osage, they're over in Paul. They're just old, old names. But in this instance, Marshon Scott Inc. is talking about this female white feather, a feminine white feather. You could, you could even say feminine white feather. Uh, and Joey, like you're saying, how you get things backwards. You got feather, white, feminine. But there you go. So, Marchon Scott E. 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 E. There we go. Marchon Scott E. So, you take that feminine off and you're just saying Marchon E. That's how you'd say with just white feather, which we did, you know, in the previous classes. That's how we just described that. Was it sa, sato, sato, machon, ska, sato? We talk about five white feathers. So that's, and that's one of our names there. Okay, going back to our favorite sound in Quapaw grammar. Because this next one we say spotted eagle or speckled, spotted, speckled, same word. Uh, gede, gede, je. 
and a J. Spotted tail, speckled tail, and it's kind of like those, uh, or spotted, like those immature bald eagles. You know how they're speckled? Black and white speckled, those <coughs> immature balds. The balds go ahead and just turn all white, but this is that speckled -y of that uh, immature. J. Is and that's spotted or speckled. Spotted, speckled, but you can. That I guess that's why I'm best when, when to think of gudege is thinking of those immature go uh, immature bald eagle feathers, those black and whites, just all speckly, and you know that's that's how I, I think of that gudege. Okay, so here we go. Got some tough ones here. Hida gudege. So just say it slow. <laughs> Go around. All right, everybody, get, get ready. Take a little sip. So, Khida Gadeje. What if I said Marchon Gadege? Spotted feather. Spotted feather. Sinte Gadege. Going back to just the other phrase. Sinte Gadege. What? What? It's it's a tail. Spotted tail. It's just it's just spotted tail because that's a name too. That, so that's not a da sin te, da sin te is that deer tail agaram. <laughs> but I'm just trying to just put that gereje because that gets used quite a bit in, in a lot of things. Gereje. Okay, hidaska. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do this. Let's go around one more time. Hida gereje. Hida gereje. Hida gereje. So, I just want to do that because, it, man, that, that, that's, that's a tough sound. Those, those are tough combinations <coughs> in Kwapwa for us in you know, English. That, that chi and that gre and then even that je. Alright. Chidaska. 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 And that's uh, that's universal. Like the, the, so, what are we saying there? White eagle. What so, was that? Okay. That powwow over there just the other day, <laughs> Bonka, Bonka Town. Where do they have it at? White eagle. eagle. Same. Yes. Yeah. So we have an like original allotment, and his name is Adaska. How is that really? It's like Adaska. It could be Hida Scott. Well, but yeah, you gotta think. You gotta, you gotta think. People writing down names. Yeah, it just they didn't. They didn't. They just wrote what they heard or what they thought they heard and just kind of went on. But uh, you go back and look at any old time spelling, and it's just. If the, if all of us were in here heard something, and it. We all tried to write it down. We would, I guarantee, every one of us would come up with a little variation. We're using English letters, but we just some foreign speaker walked in and just said something, and they said, "All right, write, write it down, write it down." 
then we would all probably come up with a little variation of that. So that it's that. I mean, it's just that. But it's kind of been standardized with, uh, oh, about James Owen Dorsey and, well, even that, that 1827 material. It's, it was kind of standardized then. What about Sig What was the correct way to say that? C is foot. Gede. Gede. It's, it's track. C, Gede is track. C, Gede is track. But it kind of got turned into Sig Yeah. And, Remember, guys, no syllable ever ends in a consonant in Degaha language. All syllables end in vowels. But they got kind of morphed and turned into you know, where we are. But all syllables end in vowels. That's one unique thing to our Degaha language. They all, all syllables end in vowels. All right, it's, we've been about an hour. You take a break. We'll come back. Just Got some more food back there. Mm -hmm. Take about a five minute break. Stretch your legs. Holy cow. She was beating up on some boys. Oh, was that fine, Mia? Flipped over? Did you flip them over? No, like they are like, she was about to have one of the chunk balls. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, careful. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, 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 Yeah, Mia. 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 Yeah, like that, we're talking about rabbit fur. But but you could even say chida uh, he. And in that case, we're talking about those. Any of y'all ever mess with a bird or tearing a bird apart, making a fan? Those, all those, they're everywhere. That, that, yeah, that's he as well. But that rabbit fur, there's that he. That chida he wajinka wajinka he the bird I mean so it can be uh, a he can be fur or like even even us that little that little not whisker so much as just that little light skin or light hair uh, or down of a bird so when we're talking about rabbit fur mashinke he or mashinke he mashinke So he, you guys get the picture of that he, right? It's that, like rabbit fur, it's got that, that, that feel to it, right? It's, it's fluffy, and then that eagle, that eagle down, bird down, or uh, like little, just those little beach fuzz kind of on your face. Same. That's what that he is. Now, we were talking about this last week. Don't dwell on this too much, but I just want you to get an idea of something <coughs> similar. How do you say the? And in our language, in Deggy Hall Clue, I mean, Omaha Punk, everybody, there's just not a the. It's, it, everything is, has a, you know, right now, look at me. I would be the this way. Right? And then I would be, or I would be sitting, so I was standing there, and I'm sitting. Or there's another the when I'm doing this. I'm walking around. We, as Indian peoples, as, as our Dagiha peoples, we just didn't pigeonhole something there. Everything had a relationship to, to the speaker. It was sitting there. 
way it was propped up, it was reclined. We had all this stuff. Now, as our English minds, we have a hard time grasping all that because we just say, that dog, or that, that rabbit, the rabbit. But even now, if we were talking about a little one, we'd assume she, and, and, and I could even, if, in my, if I'm telling a story, she's out there running around. Well, that's how I would reference her, little running around. But then somebody else might picture her over there sitting down playing. Well, she would have that reference. Do you, got, do you guys follow me on that? Everything had this. It's an action. It's not just a. Yeah. You just can't. Action. You just can't say A or B. I mean, it's it's everything kind of took on a space. How it was at. So in a, in 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 those lines talking about a rabbit or the rabbit. When it ends in a knee, and we'll get into these. Don't let this frustrate you. I just want you to be aware that our language does this. Mashtike ni, the rabbit. Well, in this instance, that ni means the singular moving animate rabbit. rabbit. So if I say mashtike ni, in your picture, and I'm telling you a story, I'm talking about that rabbit, you can picture that rabbit, it's one of them, and it's, it's hopping around, it does do what rabbits do, right? It's, it's hopping around. All right, now, if I said mashtike ni, Okay. Well, that rabbit's just sitting there. All right, he's not moving. He's just sitting down. And if I said Mashinke Tom, Tom, he's he's probably. And this is a story, right? These are these are like kind of these are from our football stories. Well, he's up moving around. I guess like a people, like a person, all right? Because he's not. You know, he's, he's up moving around. So that's just, like I said, just be aware that that's what our language does. And if you're on that, you know, if you're looking at any of our stories and you're seeing all these different things behind a buffalo or a rabbit or something, well, that's what's going on. It's, it's even presenting a better picture for you of what's going on. Any questions on that? That's kind of big. That's what our language does. That in English, we have to go a long ways to get there. That's rabbit was out there hopping around. Well, they just say, you know, don't throw that tail on there, and it's it takes care of it. Okay, gre badam, gre badam, gre badam, gre badam. Ten. Uh, just touching on numbers. I know some people were asking about numbers. And we get kind of wordy with, there's some things our language cuts right to the chase, and man, it's awesome. I mean, it's like, boom, we're there. English has to go way around here to get there. But like in numbers, we it's like Roman numerals. You know I mean? It's like X, X, V, 1, 1, 4, 4. I mean, it's, we kind of get wordy with numbers. But just talking about, like, to try and say 21, do you guys see what's going on there? It's big. But it's good So it's ten to one. And what do we know about agadim? That's it. That's to set to set on. Yeah. So it's like saying ten. There's there's a there's two tens. I'm trying to get there's two tens with one set there. There's two tens with one set there. Do you guys see that in that translation? Yeah. Good evening. No, no, but me the ah green. So this isn't the case, but we take them go a long way around born. But that's how we say twenty-one. Or how would I say twenty? The or no the no the No, just just twenty, just twenty by itself. No, yeah, that's it. That's it. Just 20 by itself would be whatever known by. And then when we say 21, it's like saying, and you know, one sitting there beside it, one's with it. We get, I guess we get more into it. But I just wonder if we were that precise. <coughs> 
<laughs> those. And that's why it gets so descriptive. But okay, so look at 30. Grebna Davini. Grebna Davini. So what are we saying there? Three tens, ten threes, three, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> three tens. And there's where you get your 30. So if we're going to say 31. Grebna Davini. Mink the Agarin. Right? Yeah, it gets, I saw we get wordy. You better not eat any more. That's why we're just going to count tens if yeah. we get. Only tens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there not like a zero anywhere? Or is that just a none? You, you know what? You know how we say, uh, I've heard I've heard at some of these like language conferences I go to, and they would argue that we didn't have a concept of zero. Some people would say, Nike, Nike. You know, when I say anike, mazeska anike. So our none would be zero. I mean, now is it, you know, because in English we can say none or lacking, but then we also have a word for zero. But if I just said uh, nike, that would be zero. But I, there's arguments about that. So in my opinion, it's just nike. I mean, there's, there's none. It's so when there's none, not that, it's gone. That's it. Uh, so you see how we say 50. We're just saying five tens. Now 100, 100 is even getting, and these are three references to 100. And like I said, I'm not, I don't, I'll tell you my opinion. But a lot of times, I'll just show you what our information, what we have. But it's basically, Grebena he, or Grebena he jika, or Grebena he jika minhti, all for 100. And I don't know on those. I mean, to me, it's, it's all in the ballpark. You can kind of see. So 10. <coughs> He could be, a, it's like a stack, a stack of tens. He can be used that way. Or he is also like very or many. But then it's got Jika. So and I, little? A, a little stack of tens. And then it's got a little stack of tens. One of them. I don't know. I do not know. And I'll tell you straight up. But that's the three references we have. But the commonality is glad and he. Right? Yeah, I like the short one. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, and, and to me, it may have been longer, but we just, you know, it's like, it's just, this language is just like our language, we shorten things. We kind of cut things off and try to get uh, to the point. Any questions on these? So, what I would say is just, I mean, we're, I'm going to have another, we're going to go over something else, but I just go over these because we're building on that dog, we're building on a key dog there, and I've tried not to expand it too much, but you've got those little things like, so if I said ha, what are we talking about? Ha. Ha. Talking about a hide or a shell, right? Or if I said head. Antlers. Antlers. Horns. Right? That was kind of a common thing. And then Doka. Doka was a male animal. Somebody said Nika. You know, that too. I've seen that in our, in, our, in our work. But just soup. That's a good one. Picked up some Da, Ni, O, On. But just study those. Go over those. Look at them. I think we're just building on those little words that we had at the front. Okay. That first class, I threw a few of these at you, and we're just, I'm just kind of going back over them. Don't let it blow you away. Now I know.
You missed, you missed Emma. Oh, I'm sorry. Emma. Oh, I have this. This. So, what did what what did I say that first class? I was like, guys, if you don't know what's going on, don't have a clue. You can't be wrong when you say this. Epo home, e. And this is where now that you guys bigger one, you see nasals are kind of important. They can kind of change things. So e pa home g. So you're basically saying, I don't know. I don't know. Epa home If I said Epa home, I know. I know. But Epa home G, I don't know. So that was our first. That was one of the first we had on that lesson. I said, man, if you're sitting there and you're getting skewed, just go right to that one and say E ba home G. I don't know. I don't know. I use it quite often. Even when I do. <laughs> All right. But I wanted to expand on that a little bit. So, Ipa Hong, Ipa Hong means to know. To know. To like, to understand, to recognize. I know. So, uh, Talk about yourself once again. Epa home, I know. I know. Epa home, G, I don't know. But now, if I looked at you, Anna, and I said, Ishpa home? Yeah, I'm asking you. See, the conjugation of that would be Ishpa home. So, man, Ishpa home? So, I'm asking you, Ishpa home, and you say, <laughs> so that's that communication. So it's always, you know, once again, it's always emanating from the speaker. So, don't, Ishpa Hong? Ishpa Ishpa Hong? Ishpa <laughs> All right, so that's how that works, right? That's that conjugation. Now, it goes back to root for he or she. Like, this for instance, I could, you know, I mean, I'm just playing here, but I could look at Anna, and we're talking about Joey, right? And I say, Epa Hong Shee. Oh, he doesn't know anything. He don't know. <laughs> he don't know. <laughs> or I say, I say, Joey, he gone. Joey knows. He knows. <laughs> See, that's how that is. And, and guys, <laughs> these that, that's our basic conjugations. Because it, 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 the word changes. Syllables change. It doesn't conjugate like English where we say, I, you, he, she, they, it. It's it, the whole word changes. That's unique to our language. But remember the premise, the one thing we want to know coming out of this is Epa Hongji. Alright, that's 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 one of the best ones you can have, Epa Hongji. Alright, but now, every now and then, Joe could say, Epa Hong. I know. <laughs> Can you pick that bar? Epa home. Epa home. Epa home. Is there a word for bullshit? So I'm getting it. Epa home. Bullshit. Well, that's it. Epa home. You don't know. Epa home. So you could do it. I could say Epa home. So Epa home. Epa home. You know. Epa home. Okay, but that's kind of giving you the understanding of how that Epa home works, right? Now the other word we worked on that first that first class was on Nike. Ain't got none. Don't have any. Lacking. It's all gone. 
and I used it in like Mazeska Anike. So what am I saying? I don't have any money. Mazeska Anike. I don't have any. I don't have no money. But it comes from the root being Nike. Or sometimes you'll see it Nike. Nike or Nike to have none, be lacking. So if I'm looking at you and or you're talking about somebody, that's where you'd be like, All right, I'm not asking you, but it's like I could say, Dinike, you don't have any. Dinike, you don't have any. And it goes back through, he or she doesn't have any. They don't have any. He or she, Dinike. But the main, what, what I really want us to come away from that is just being able to talk a little bit, being able to use our language, on EK. Or some, I mean, I'm, I just, I look at you because you were always, I'm just, you're in that meeting, you're, you're always up there running around, you can say that pound, DK. It's gone, man. It's all gone. And that's just, that's that type. So, on EK, I don't have any. And that's a good one, too. Somebody asking uh, for a little bit of money. Moses, on EK. Don't have any. Any questions on those? Okay, now going down to the wants, right? And these are good. These, this is the one we can mainly use and start talking immediately. So, if I said, ni gombada, ni gombada, what am I saying? I want water. Ni gombada. I want water. Ni gombada. What if I, okay, and I'm looking at you. And I say, uh, Virginia ni gonda. Virginia ni gonda. She wants water. Right. Virginia wants water. Because you and I are talking, and we're talking about her. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, Joey. Uh, man's mazeska gonda. Man's wants money. Man's wants money. All right. Now. Uh, <laughs> Ace. Ace. Mazeska Shkonta. Mazeska Shkonta. Talking to you. Yeah, I was you. Oh, yeah, you want. I'm asking, yeah, I'm asking you. You want to. <laughs> Alright, okay. now. And that's where, like I said, we used in that, so just playing, pretending, Anna, you ask me for some money. Just say, so you would ask me, Billy, well, just no. say, you'd say, Mazeska, oh. you'd look at me and say, Mazeska, Kombada. Oh, Mazeska, Kombada. And I could say, Anike, mm -hmm. or Mazeska, Anike, mm -hmm. I don't have any, you know, I mean, I'm just, that's just a, a little phrase that could be used in that, in that. Were there words for yes and no? Or do you say I have none for Well, you? and that's the thing. It's Did like they just even, shake their head? We could say yes. We could say no. We could say I don't have any. We could say uh, how much you want. Hana. Hana. How much how you much? want. So okay. I'm, but I'm just trying to move us around with these verbs to try just to hear them, get comfortable with them. Start, you know, kind of use it. But yeah, you could just you could just shake your head, and just walk off. <laughs> I mean, I, but just trying to kind of make them make them work. But yeah, we could say yes, we could say no, we could say on EK. How much you want? Paul, how much you want? Let me find that hundred. I know that's what I was looking for. Where'd it go? But going back, just to, because I just try to try to get us to use it. We've got these. What was Tata? Tata. Tata. If as in Tata Shkonta. What? What? What do you want? What do you want? Tata Shkonta. Right. Oh yeah. 
saying Corey all the time. You be looking at me. Dot dot guy, we won. Dot dot school dot. And then you would say blank gombada, right? And we're going to use these. We did this earlier. You guys remember this drill, right? Though yeah, 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 we're here. So, all right, now. I'm not all right. <laughs> You've got it. But you're oh, going to yeah. ask. You're going to ask her. You're going to ask her. Da da shkonda. You're asking her what she wants. She's going to have to tell you what she wants, and you're going to find it. Da da shkonda. Da 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 shkonta. So she said, da da What do you want? And now you're gonna, you're gonna think, what are these things? You're gonna say back to her, I want, blank, I want. Shawe kombada. So everybody's, everybody's listening. So she said, correct, right? She said, what do you want? She said, I want a beaver. <laughs> And there it is. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. No, no. Uh, you're asking him. You're looking at Shkonta. Shkonta. Data Shkonta. So there you go. So she said, what do you want? He said, I want Mashon Kombada. Wait, repeat what he said, Mashon Kombada. Mashon Kombada. But then he got a little, you know, he dug a little deeper and he put Gereje on it from what we learned tonight. So Mashon Gereje is spotted feather, speckled feather. Yeah, okay. I just can't even He is smart. <laughs> I knew he was smart from that machine class. Okay, so you're asking Ace. So, so you're going to pick. He's asking, you're going to pick something, and you're going to say, yeah, you're going to say this. Mazeska. Mazeska. So, A said, Mazeska Kombada. There you go, buddy. There it is. Okay. We can throw these back in there. Just, just, right. yeah, we, we can make it easy. So now you're talking to Mans. You're going to ask him what he wants. Tata Skonta. Tata Skonta. Mans, you pick one of those things. And then you wrap it up with the I want form of the verb. Kombada. Shonka Kombada. Shonke Kombada. So what did he say? Shonke Kombada. So I mean, I'm not trying to put anybody on this. You can look, you can look. That's how we learn. Just hearing it, reading it, seeing it, using it. So what did man say he wanted? He said, I want I want a dog. And like I said, we're baby talking now. I mean we can say one, two, red, black, blue, but we're just just getting comfortable, trying to get comfortable. So man, you're gonna ask her da da shkonta. Da da shkonta. Que combada. Que combada. That's it. There you go. All right. <coughs> 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 
Okay, asking asking your mama what she wants. Oh, it's got to be one of these. Yeah, oh. one of those, just just to make it easy. Okay. Blur, blur. <laughs> No pressure. All right. What'd she say? Mazeska Kofida? She wants money. All right. Key. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. You're over here. At the end? The verb goes at the end. Kofida. Okay. Shonka Kofida. Shonka. There you go. What, what did he say he wanted? Oh, dog. dog. He wanted a dog. All right, now. You're asking. Tata is, is, the, is the, the what. And Shkonta is, you're talking to somebody you want. Tata. Tata. Kira. Woo. Yeah, whole thing. You shouldn't say you want to be either. Yeah. So you said right? Gira, 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 all right. Okay, now you're asking me. We'll wrap it up here. Conjugation with that, at least the wants, the Nikes, the Ipahongis. Now, we did another one which was the uh, on ni, to have. You guys remember that one? On ni. And we use it with like our name. So, what was name? Jaje. Jaje. So if I said Tata Jaje Ati, what name do you have? What's your name? That's how we looked at it. You possessed it. You owned it. So then you say. So then you say your name, and it would be Jaje, and you're talking about yourself, Ah Bani, and right, and that's right here. Other than the Jaje, Jaje, but that's on your older stuff. But I'm going to go around, ask your name, say your name back to me. So, da, I'm going to ask you, Tata, which is the what, Jaje's name, Ati, the you form of you have, you possess, you say back to me, your name, Jaje, and then the I form of have, which is what? Abedi. Got it? Okay. Tata, Jaje, Ati. Dr. Jaja Atin. Dr. Jaja Atin. Jaja Avani. Try it. Dr. Jaja Atin. Dr. Jaja Atin. Dr. Jaja Atin. Abani. Alright, let's try it again. 
Tata Jorge Arte. 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 Monica Ilo, Jean G, Albany. Tata Jorge Arte. Who said to you, Jean G, Albany? Remember, Jean G. Jean G. Jean G would kind of take it a different direction. Like I said, sometimes I'm not. I try not to be the grammar police, but you can kind of veer off in a different direction. Jean G, and then Albany. I have. I have that. Possess that for a name. Alright. Flip that over. <coughs> this is that this is that one. E. E. When you see that apostrophe, that's a they call it a glottal, but it's a E. Like an up O E. E. To give. E. And it's tough, but let's go around just, just to say, just to give. E. 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 All right. All right. So, ah, E is I give. I'm giving you. Right? I, I, I'm doing the giving. I'm giving you this. Uh, I'm given, not necessarily you, but I'm given. So there's a ah e. Now da e is you give. We kind of touched on these the other night, but e we. Virginia, we're getting into that. They give. We is a pluralizer. So like, e we is like they're given. They give. E we. And guys, don't get to, oh my God, this is so much. This is just really for, like I said, we're just throwing a little bit out there so you just understand, see how our language works. And it'll just start sinking in. It'll start, you know, we can start using these things. Now, D, E is you were given to, right? You, you were given, and to use that in a contextual sentence, this is from one of those stories. Be, D, D, E. Be is the who. D is house, lodge, tent, home, and D, E. So who gave you that? Who gave you that tent? Well, you could throw out the tent and just say, Be, Be, D, E. Who gave you that? Do you see how that's working? Right? Let's have a call. Just kind of see how it's working. D, you're, you're receiving that action. Now, weak E, I give to you. So, D, D, weak E. I'm giving you this lodge. I give you this house. Weak E, I to you. I'm giving you this tent, this house, this 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 lodge. Now, all e is give to me. So in a in a contextual sentence, D on E. He gave this lodge to me. Because E is to he she give. So on E, he gave this lodge to me. On e way, they gave to me. E, D, on e way, they gave a lodge to me. Now, I'm not, we're not, I'm not going to bust that out on you at any point, but I just want you guys to get and, and just see, don't even have to understand it, but our language is awesome. It's, 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 it goes so many directions, and that's, there's grammar to it, there's rules. And that's how it works. I mean, but in nowhere in there did you see like a I pronoun or a you pronoun or 
obey pronoun. It's just these little syllables take care of all that. A little bit different than English. And that's just what I want you to understand, guys. Is that is that it, we, we we move a little different direction than that. So if you're trying to figure out, or if you even see anything that has like the I pronoun, we generally it just in a verb it just doesn't work that way. ways that our language conjugates the words. But really, the I don't know, the I don't know, kind of work on that one. You know, even look at those two no's and those wants. That's kind of what we're focused on is those wants. Right? Because then we can really, you can start doing a lot with those wants. You can start getting out there and uh, getting all over the place with those. Uh, I didn't I wanted to get into that. If you look at real quick on the back page of the first document I gave you, the back page, the very first one, the, the first handout I gave you, the back page. I just want to touch. I, I was trying to get. To, I wanted to get into those verbs, but I just want to touch on this a little bit. Uh, salt, right? These key Is everybody where I'm? Yeah. Everybody there? Number All right. Yeah. Ni skide. Salt. Ni skide. Salt. Remember, water and skide is sweet. Now, that just kind of is what it is. I couldn't really take anywhere. But I want you guys to get an idea of that skide. So, honey, hezika skide. Hezika skide. But really, that just breaks down to what? Bee is sweet. It's the sweetness of this bees. Right? Hezika is bee. Ski day is sweet. So there's your honey. Alright? A bee and this sweetness that these honeys that these honeys that these bees produce. <laughs> here's where you get your honey. Cake. Cake. Waske ski day. What's waske by itself? Bread. Bread. Waske by itself. Bread. Waske ski day. Sweet bread. So therefore, cake. Sugar. Wajonke skide. Wajonke, wajonke. We've got it both ways. Wajonke skide. And that kind of breaks down to like this pulverized fine sweet. So I think you can think when you picture sugar, it's those little bitty granules and then it's sweet, right? You know, just just like that. But there's also another one, Jean Ni, maple sugar. Jean being tree, Ni being what? Liquid, water. So so this this maple sugar, this tree tree water, tree sap, Jean Ni. Uh, what was the next one? Was it? Molasses syrup. Basically saying sugar with that good old, good old. And what's that good old, good old doing? Thick. It's like thick, slimy, muddy, ropey, viscous. So it's just, it's sure enough that sugar that's just like. Like the bottom of sweet tea. Yeah. And a sweet So you guys, and the reason I show this, so any of these we can, we can want. Right? We could we could kind of play with and say, what's ski day gonbada? Okay. Right? So it just <laughs> now go back, we worked on Mazeska. Mazeska me the one dollar. Talking about one dollar. We don't want to go twenty one, do we? <laughs> twenty one dollars. Sure. But you get the gist of how we would go twenty one, <laughs> right? <laughs> you would just pause that skit and throw that on there. Now, uh, this was uh, how to say a rich person, and this brings that have in there. Mazeska Oshe Ani Ni. Well, that, so Mazeska is what? Money. Money. Oshe, see down there at the bottom, plentiful, plenty, a lot. And then Ani goes back to what we're talking about names. To have, right? 
So they have a lot of money. And then that knee goes back to, we're talking about that rabbit, right? So they're, they're, they're over there, like, sitting there having that, having that money. That, and see, it paints, a, it paints a pretty good picture, doesn't it? Money, oh shit, plenty, a lot. On me, he or she has it, and they're over there being that way. They are rich. They've got a lot of this money, and they're over there doing that. Went a chati rattlesnake. Saying like, it's like saying the real snake. That's the real guy. Instead of the real deal, it's that's, the, that's, that's, sure enough, it's, that's sure enough. That's sure enough. That's sure enough. And that's our rattlesnake. What we call rattlesnake. This is from a little story. She changed into a serpent. And that ke is yet another the. And I just, you can kind of see a snake's probably going to be laying there. And that ke is singular lying. So see, it's saying she's over there lying there as a snake would. A snake probably would be standing up here like me. But that's the way that snake is, the snake, a snake. And I just threw that in there for snake too. Our, one of our clans, one of our dens, wet, uh, and Nikashika, those snake people, people. I skipped that because I, I wanted to be sure to get those birds by eight, but if we're done. If you have any questions at all, I'm here to ask away. I just want to try and get that by the 8 o'clock time frame.